Hi guys, I'm Simone Biles, four-time Olympic gold medalist. Today I'm going to be showing you my skincare and beauty routine as well as my makeup for competition. The first thing I do is I wash my face. Naturally, I've actually had pretty good skin um, growing up in general. The next step I'm going to do is an SK2 facial treatment mask. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, if I'm gonna use one of these every day or every other day, or just chilling with my friends. And we're gonna do like a girls night and we do masks. I feel like my face doesn't change whenever I'm competing uh, or wearing makeup. I feel like the only thing that changes my face and makes me get pim pimples is stress. On my downtime, I like to hang out with my friends and my family, do some rot days, watch some Netflix, watch some movies, go out to eat, or find something fun in a community to do. Right now, I'm going to be using SK2's Patera Essence. This is the key, and this is all you need. This little bottle does wonders. Okay. I learned a little bit of skincare product, um, or of how to do a lot of stuff from Allie Raisman. She was obsessed with skincare products, and half of her suitcase every time we went on assignment was all skincare. That was like her relaxation mode, and now I finally get it. And now we're gonna move into makeup. For foundation, I use Fenty Beauty. Sometimes I put it on my hand, sometimes I put it on my face, depending on how much time I have. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my hand. I don't really know if it makes that much of a difference. For competitions, I always do my own makeup. I actually taught myself how to do my own makeup. That's probably why I'm still struggling. I should probably go to YouTube and learn. I do trial and errors all the time with makeup if I want to do a new look. The process before a competition, I give myself an hour to do makeup, not that I need it, but I feel like I take everything like step by step and I'm so slow that I feel like it has to be perfect. And it usually ends up being the last five minutes. I'm just like drawing everything on my face anyways, so. My other rituals besides my hair for getting ready for a competition is just listening to music. Eat a little bit of a snack before I go so I'm not hungry out there. And that's it. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I usually do not touch them um, unless I need to fill it in, but they look pretty good to me today. Eyeshadow. For competition, I usually go for a gold look because it just, it's nice on my skin. I like to match um, my Leo, but sometimes I do off the wall Leos with colors and like, I'm not gonna walk out with green eyeshadow um, because I can't do it properly, so. I'm applying this to my upper eyelid. And I'm not that great at eyeshadow, so I just kind of slap it on there. People are probably gonna watch this and make fun of me, but it's fine. Beauty is no competition. For me, the importance of beauty in gymnastics does not matter what you look like, it what it's what you do on the mat. So going into a competition does make, up, make me feel better? Yes, but it's what I do out there on the floor that really, really matters. That was my knee popping because I'm an athlete and everything pops for no reason. Next, I'm going to do eyeliner. I know it's really out of order and people do it differently but this one specifically is by Fenty. Oh, this is hard. So I live most of my life um, bare face, no makeup, no nothing, because I train all the time. So I do like wearing makeup sometimes just to be a little bit different and get out of my element, but most of the time you'll see me bare face without any makeup on and I look rough, so don't judge me. For wing eyeliner, I really don't have a technique. I just let it follow my lower lid up. Sometimes I go a little bit sharper up, but it's whatever. Wow, I'm really impressed with myself. I use this little old mirror and look, 
There is my wings. My training schedule right now gets a little bit hectic. It gets kind of crazy. Um, I train 32 to 34 hours a week. My only day off is Sunday, so I really cherish those Sundays, and I wish we had like three Sundays in a row. Um, so if somebody could make that happen, I would love you forever. I like to curl my eyelashes. I just learned how to do it, so I'm not that great at it. So right now my training diet is, or I don't really have a diet actually, I kind of just eat um, healthier options because I know we're in season. So while I'm in season, I like to eat like a lot of fish, a lot of chicken, um, vegetables, rice, stuff like that, that'll give me fuel. Other than that, if there are cookies on the table or candy out, I'm a sweets person, so I will eat it. I don't ever hold back on sweets. You can always treat yourself, and that's what I do. I'm using Marc Jacobs Mascara. Being on the cover of Vogue is very intimidating because I've seen some of the greatest people ever on the cover, so I'm really nervous, but in a good way. It'll get me out of my comfort zone. One of the dresses is a custom Christian Dior one. I'm really excited about it. It's different for me. I'm not used to like this high-end fashion stuff, so yeah. I swear my bottom lashes are actually like longer than my top ones, but it's fine. And I like getting my nails done. It's fun for me. It makes me feel feminine, beautiful, confident. And it's one thing that I can have in gym that's not too, too much of a distraction. For Rio, I had red, white, and blue nails with like an American flag on the ring finger. As far as recovery goes, I love to take Epsom salt baths. Um, I love to get in compression boots to kind of flush out all the bad toxins. Um, I like to make smoothies at home. Self-care is key. I've always been a pretty positive person. Um, I've always been just a very happy kid growing up, so I feel like that's carried over into my adulthood. And as far as discipline goes, it's been a part of my life since I started out gymnastics at six years old. So it's kind of something that was instilled in me from a very young age. And now I find everything I do, there's a little bit of discipline in my routine um, throughout the day, throughout life. And whenever I have days off, since there's no discipline, I kind of feel lost, um, which I'll definitely have to get used to, but for now, I kind of like my routine. Next, I'm gonna be doing some blush. I'm gonna be using cream blushes. I'm gonna mix these two together. I actually don't know why I just put that on my hand to mix. Don't put too much or else you'll look like a clown. I think that's pretty good. And last but not least would be my best friend, some chapstick. Usually for competitions, I don't wear lipstick, so I usually go for a chapstick just because we're out there and we're breathing hard. I don't want my lips to crack. I mean, it's a good moisturizer and it gives it a good gloss. And here's my makeup look. Thanks for watching, guys. This is my competition look, and I'll see you guys out there. Bye.